Okay, very good morning students. Today we are going to learn about the basic equipment which are required mandatory for the operations of food and beverage. So these are the some of the cutlery and crockery what we are going to see today which are generally used in any kind of restaurants whether it is a coffee shop, whether it is a five star hotel, whether it is a small restaurant or ethnic restaurant or food court, wherever you go you can see all these utensils, the very basics which are displayed here, I am going to explain you one by one. So first we will start with the plates, crockeries, the full plate, this is the full plate you could see, the full plate is uh, 10 inches size, the rim is there, you could see how the plate you are supposed to hold, you could see that the plate should be holded like this always, the four fingers, remaining four fingers are down and plate should be holded like this and whenever you clear the plates from the guest table, the plate should be holded like this, when you serve the food for the guest, the plate should be holded like this and it should be kept like this, okay, so this is the full plate, so this is, this plate is generally used for consuming the main course that it could be uh, whether it is pulley ala chicken or uh, whether it is uh, vegetable logatin or whether it is uh, generally when you talk about Indian food, the dal, sabji, puri and all these things, you can have your major meal in this full plate. So this is the very important plate, whenever the guest is coming for lunch or dinner or breakfast, you have to give this full plate to consume his meal. So when we talk about the second part, the half plate, the half plate this is the half plate, this is 8 inch, all the cutlery, all the crockery should be in the same color when you are using in the restaurant. So this is also white, this is 8 inches, generally used for serving any kind of desserts or uh, fruits, cut fruits. You can give pineapples, you can give uh, apples, you can cut it into pieces and serve it to the guests. So this, desert, this is a half plate, this is also called as the desert plate, this is you know basically the deserts are served and these are the pre-plated desserts like uh, for example you can say uh, uh, jalebi or something like that, for example you want to serve some kind of uh, uh, samosas or something like that, you can give some kind of snacks like that, so you use the desert plate, okay. Now this is the quarter plate, the quarter plate is 4 inches. The quarter plate, this is also called as side plate. The side plate is always kept on the side of the table like this and I can see this full plate is kept here. So when you lay the table, I will of course definitely tell you how to lay the table definitely in the next session. So you can see the side plate is always kept on the left hand side of the guest. So the side plate is the quarter plate, the other name. So moving ahead. now. We see all these things, crockeries. Now we see this uh, some of the cutleries. The first important one, this is the cheese fork, you know, cheese knife, you know, to cut the cheese and pick it up. So this cheese knife is generally used in the restaurants, and you have a cheese trolley also exclusively in the restaurants. So these cheese knives are generally used. You can see the cut on top of it. That is very important. You cut it and pick it. Now, this next cutlery what you are going to see is that this is the fish fork. This fish fork you can very easily identify because this fish fork is having a cut in between. You can see the cut in between so that this cut is identifying and this cut is generally used to remove the bones from the fish. So this is the fish knife. The fish knife always has a cut. Remember that. Now when we talk about the next cutlery that is fish knife. See this? The fish knife also has a cut on top of it. This cut is generally given to take out the bones from the fish, to serrate the bones from the fish so that this fish knife always have the indication of cut on the side, on top of it. You can see the very clearly. You can see this. Now, next cutlery we are going to talk about is service spoon. This is the service spoon. When you want to serve some kind of rice, some kind of vegetables or some kind of dal, you have to have the service gears. Now this is the service fork. So the service gears are generally handled like this. See look at my hand, like, like this, like this. 
like this. Or when you want to serve the rice, you can open up and you can do it like this. So basically, the service spoon and service forks are handled like this. See, my all the fingers, three fingers are on top, and first and the second finger on the fork holding it. See the gap? You can have a gap accordingly. You can press the rice and serve it on the plate. So this is the service spoon and service fork. This is called a service gears. Now we come to the dessert spoon or AP spoon, we call it as AP spoon is all purpose spoon. This is can be used as a dessert spoon also. So this is an AP spoon and when we talk about AP fork, this is all purpose fork. This is also used, this is also called as dessert fork. This is also used in using your dessert items, sweet items. So when we move ahead, we see the soup spoon. The soup spoon is hollow. You can see this and you can see the soup spoon. This is how you take the soup and you consume. So the soup spoon is here and I just wanted to get uh, the service ladders. Here you can see the service ladders. Now this ladder is generally used to pick up any kind of dal items, any kind of vegetable items. So this is used in buffet. The service ladders are used in buffet. So these are the basic requirement for any kind of restaurant operations we need to have even in buffet. These are also service and ladders for vegetables and other things. So you must have all these things. This is the you know right about you can say which are very designed neat nicely with a glassware. So these kind of attractive things generally used in restaurants and coffee shop and five star hotels in a restaurant. And see these are also very nice uh, fantastic uh, balls you know very attractive balls which where you can display anything like uh, any kind of uh, pastry if you want to keep it any kind of uh, uh, dry fruits you want to keep it you can keep it very nicely presented in the guest room and keep it nicely so this looks very attractive and when you see this one this is the very very small one this is the pickle ball generally we give the pickle ball like this in the top along with the small spoon so this is the pickle ball which comes with the underneath the per plate. Now I would like to show you the some of the very important thing. This is the four portion dish. This is four portion dish means in this you can serve some kind of uh, vegetables, some kind of dal, some kind of pulao, some kind of rice items, some kind of noodles, anything you can, you can serve. In this you can serve. So generally you see this serving item in the restaurant. So this is the flatheads. This comes under flatware and now when you talk about butter dish, you have a butter dish and uh, the butter dish goes with this along with that, with the side knife you can see. Actually you need to have a butter knife, generally right now I am not having it. So we can use it like this. Now this is salver. Now how to hold a salver? As a waiter you are supposed to hold a salver like this. Remember my posture? Your hands are at the back and you are going to hold it like this. Now salvers are generally used to carry any kind of items like this. The teapots, the milk pots, cup and saucers, your side knife, button dish you want to clear from the table. So I have cleared all these things and I have kept it like this. See how holding I am, how old, how I am holding the plate, how confidently, how my fingers are, you know, it's crossed, how it is basically holding on the center. The your position should be on the center so that the gravity of the you know the force is perfect and you can able to can firmly hold the tree. Otherwise, sometimes it disbalances. When it disbalances, the food particles may get, you know, dropped. So this is the salver which is generally used to clear all the things. And uh, this is the, you know, coffee pot or a milk pot. You can say where you can uh, keep your coffee or milk pot. So you can you, you can see this. These are all generally kept in the guest rooms. So. This is uh, generally used in room service also and these tongs are generally used and this is the salad plate. This is the salad plate and tongs. You can serve anything from the tongs. Either it can be a salad 
or either it could be uh, some of the things uh, which I wanted to show you, like here. And then you get everything together. Now, in this, we could see the basket. This is the bread basket, we call it as. We can serve naan, roti, anything. So, this is the top which you can use it to serve. So, this naan, roti, all these things are served from the guest which side? The guest right hand side. And this is the, you know, soup bowl which uh, always goes with the quarter plate. I'll just show you. Yeah, here is the quarter plate. So the soup is served like this. You could see what are all the items I'm carrying. Quarter plate, the soup bowl, and the soup spoon. The size of the capacity 